Hello everybody, what's up? Moses here, and today the first video guide for World of Warcraft. Yes, I started playing the game about a month and a half ago for the first time. I made myself a hunter. Why? I don't know. I just kind of thought they looked nice. So I just made myself one. I had no idea what I uh, was getting myself into, but I did, and I love it, and my hunter is awesome. And we've been doing some mythic dungeons, and I was doing quite okay even. Either way, let's go over the build, the skills, the rotations, prioritization when it comes to gear. We're going to show off some trinkets and some other stuff that I have uh, on. Um, so yeah. Build. When it comes to the talent, um, I take Dire Beast. Uh, dire Beast, um, excuse me, dire, dire Stable. Dire Stable allows you to generate 12 more focus in addition to the base 12 focus that you get from uh, activating Dire Beast. Dire Beast is a skill. Um, they added, it summons a spectral uh, beast to attack your target. It deals uh, quite a bit of damage and uh, it generates your focus while it's on, while it's active. So instead of 12, 24 with this skill right here. Um, obviously we're talking Beast Master, so no big M Hunter, no way of the Cobra. Um, so yeah, when it comes to level 30 Stomp as well, heavy focus. Um, Dire Beast also have a chance to reset its cooldown when, you know, uh, when your auto attack crits. So whenever you're releasing one of these and then one of your auto attacks crits, you get a chance, um, w w like whenever your auto attack crits, you will reset. There's no chance to reset, you will reset. Uh, so you'll be able to release another diabetes and you can have as many of those as you can, you know, reset and crit. So this will as well generate your focus. So you'll be able to spam corbo shots. You'll be able to spam uh, your barrage uh, and your your other damage dealing, your your kill command, your other damage dealing abilities. Um, you know, more frequently. So you'll be able to output more damage. At level 45, uh, post haste, it seems to be the best choice. Uh, even though at this tier. Pretty much everything is kind of overwhelming. Post haste is just nice movement speed. After you do the disengage, you run away. It gives you a nice escape, and then eight seconds of 60% uh, additional movement speed is pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, Bestial Fury increases your base damage from 20% to 35%. That's additional 15% for your Bestial Wrath, and you want to have Bestial Wrath as up as many times as possible. As, as you know, uh, the most of the duration of the fight, you want to use it whenever it's off cooldown. Uh, it has a pretty short cooldown, now one and a half minutes, and whenever you're using uh, Bestial, uh, excuse me, Dire Beast, it will drop the cooldown by 30 seconds each time. So again, you can activate your Bestial Wrath, and then you'll do 35% more damage thanks to that trait, and then uh, Dire Beast will drop the cooldown when you're... I don't have a target right now to show you, uh, but yeah. Uh, Dire Beast will drop the cooldown by 30 seconds. You can crit and then drop the cooldown again by 30 seconds and have this back uh, quite often. There's no 100% uptime uh, to this skill. I don't think it's supposed to be designed that way, but you should want to have it... You know, this is your first priority. In, uh, in long battles, you want to have it up as much as possible. Hmm, as well, yeah. Okay, so when you're, basically when it comes to like the rotation, uh, you'd want to have this up, and then you throw out a Dire Beast, a kill command, so your pet will start attacking, and your, you know, Dire Beast, Spectral, Phantom Pet will start attacking as well, and then you throw in the Barrage. Uh, if you have any, um, you should have um, uh, more focus left to uh, throw in some Cobra shots. Just make sure to not spend all your uh, focus at once because you want to have Kill Command available. It costs you 30 focus. This will cost you 40. You want to have your Kill Command available when it comes off cooldown. So you always got to pay attention and uh, make sure, you know, it's a little thing to keep in mind. <laughs> at level 70, 
<clears throat> it's level 75. Uh, binding shot is excellent. Uh, everything else here is quite underwhelming. Binding shot is really nice AOE stun. Uh, you throw it. Usually you'll see me. Uh, usually you'll see me like disengage and then throw it, so that monsters come in from this direction, from the tavern right there. You know they'll and you know they attack me. I'll disengage, go back. They'll come in. You know uh, their AI will tell them to come in towards me. They will uh, get stunned. I'll be able to unleash some damage on them, drop them, and then I'll have some even additional. Uh, movement speed remaining because it lasts eight seconds uh, uh, post haste. It's eight seconds of additional movement speed, and then I'll be able to run away, kite them a little bit, and finish them off. And it's also uh, more time to, you know, ment pet if I need to, um, you know, or heal myself, bringing other healing uh, off cooldown, etc. Uh, level 90 barrage. Uh, there's some things to say about it. Ideally, I would prefer Murder of Crows. I think it does more damage, and the fact that it resets on kill allows you <clears throat> allows you to kind of time when you put it on. Like you don't put it, you don't throw uh, Murder of Crows. Um, it's like kind of different from Barrage. Barrage you want to start with, but Murder of Crows you want to end with. So when like a certain target is at 50% health, you're about to kill it, um, then. Murder of Crows will help you finish it off a, a lot quicker and then it will reset. You'll start attacking the next target, throw another Murder of Crows, and so, go, and so on and so forth. But since I'm obviously queuing up for dungeons, for raids, etc., uh, and uh, monsters have substantially more HP in raids and in dungeons than just, you know, across the world, I can't change that skill unless I'm in a rested area. Um, so. I'm I'm just using barrage all the time. At level uh, 100, aspect of the beast will give you uh, depends on your um, uh, beast uh, spec whether it's ferocity or tenacity. Basically, cunning I don't think is particularly good, but I I do use ferocity for dungeons and for raids whenever I'm in a group. Um, I use ferocity whenever I'm soloing content. I'm doing tenacity because my pet needs to tank, and it's not very nice when it dies, right? Because then stuff start attacking me. I died. Bad things happen, so we don't want that. Um, yeah. So basically, aspect of the beast. You can also uh, change your pet um, um, spec. Depends on depends on you know whatever is needed through here. And you can just activate it, and it doesn't have to be in a rested area. You can, you know, change your pet uh, spec, which is something I do on the regular. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Other than that, um, when it comes to gear prioritization, my current gear level is 702. I'm just, you know, doing my best, using Valor, etc., upgrading some items, doing dungeons, doing mythics, uh, just trying to up my gear level, right? Uh, but yeah, that's my current item level, it's whatever. But what you want to focus on is your haste and your mastery. Haste will, well, um, increase attack speed and focus regeneration. Mastery will increase all damage done by your pets, and uh, it's huge. Uh, it's a huge, huge, huge thing for your you know, pet to deal more damage because you're a beast master, right? So most of the damage comes from your pets. Your, your dire beasts, your uh, your actual pet will be active and uh, yeah you want to increase that as much as possible when it comes to uh, crit, crit chance uh, is always always nice to have uh, but from what I understand in Icy Veins the, uh, the differences between the stats is kind of small try and prioritize haste and mastery but you know in the end choose uh, based on item level if you get an item level that is higher then choose the higher item level um, for your item slot, whatever that is. And yeah, that's my gear. I mean, uh, nothing too amazing. I got a couple of nice pieces, some 730 bracers, uh, some 735, what was a, uh, you know, cloak, whatever, back. Pretty cool, but uh, yeah. Most of these stuff are baleful items that I use uh, crystal pexes to get tokens to upgrade, etc., etc. And uh, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to the build. <clears throat> I also have this item right here that I found. It's really nice. You can activate it pretty much everywhere. 
um, um, corrupted primal obelisk. You just put it down on the ground, and uh, yeah, it's just it start lasering enemies, and it, it does quite a lot of damage. It has quite a long cooldown as well, five minutes, but it does last for a long time. Uh, for about 30 seconds, and it's lasering down enemies. It's pretty sweet. Uh, other than that, I have this little crystal that I always activate. Uh, it has 15 minute cooldown, and it, it is active for an entire hour, increasing your agility by 100. So I've found it, I'm using it. Uh, whenever uh, somebody needs a res, I can res, res them with this thing that I, I got. I don't even know how, but it's here, it's in my inventory. I'll use it whenever necessary. I got this Admiral Compass, which teleports me uh, to my shipyard. It's actually very handy. I also have Warp of Unity. This can be bought in a vendor, guild vendor, for like 300 gold, I'm pretty sure. It teleports you to Stormwind City. Um, I got my Garrison Hearthstone, of course, and my normal Hearthstone. That's when it comes to items in my inventory. Um, I think I pretty much covered most of the things. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And also bear in mind that those things are not optimal. If you want to go optimal, min-maxing, top tier, etc., um, then you can go to professional player video guides um, or go to IC Veins, read, you know, papers and pa not papers, but like pages and pages of threads. But, you know, for me, I play the game for fun. I just started it out. And if you guys are the same, you'll find these videos very useful. I can tell you that I'm actually quite owning with my Beastmaster Hunter. I'm getting good at the game with each passing day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys on stream. Bye-bye for now, friends.